this this year was uh, very different to the Romandy uh, to the tour of Romandy we had last year. Um, but I'm I'm really happy with my condition, and again, this is now a, a really crucial time, uh, building up to the Tour de France. And um, I wouldn't go as far as to say whoever wins Tour de Romandie will win the Tour de France, but it's it's definitely a good sign and um, a sign that I'm I'm on track for um, f for being ready for the Tour. Yeah, I think the time trial did suit me well today with the with the climb. Um, and Tony Martin is, I mean, in my opinion, he's one of the, one of the best in the world, if not the best uh, at time trial. So um, to beat him was really a surprise. I, I didn't expect that. Uh, my main objective today was to try and uh, obviously take one second from Simon Spilak. Um, but to, to win the stage also, it gives me, gives me a lot of confidence. And um, a, a victory for the team also is, is really important. It's... Um, it's, it's, yeah, I couldn't ask for any more. Mm -hmm. I knew that my condition was good. Um, even when I went to, to Liege, Baston Liege, I, I hoped to hope to participate there. I hoped to do a good race. Um, but when, when I saw the team doctor, he said, okay, listen, it's, it's best you don't ride today. And Tour of Romandy is a bigger um, uh, objective for you. So better you take it a little bit easy. I mean, I'm, I'm still coughing at the moment. I'm still not 100% with my chest, um, but I hope in these next few days I'll be able to take some time off and uh, recover, recover properly. I think this this next block coming up now will be really important uh, before the Tour de Dauphiné, uh, Criterium Dauphiné. Sorry, um, it's uh, we're just under two months now from from the start of the tour. Um, I. I feel like I'm in, in a really good condition already, but I, I still do have qu quite a lot of work to do uh, before Dauphiné. Um, so I think I'm on track. I'm where I need to be. I think, if anything, I'm ahead of where I was last year, this time last year, um, which is which is a really good feeling, um, especially after all the um, setbacks and difficulties this, this season so far. So. Um, I'm just really happy with, with where I am and uh, I hope that in this next block um, I'll be going back to Tenerife to altitude training for two weeks that um, I, can, I can improve on my condition there. What is the most important thing of your condition you have to, tr to train now? To, to, to get... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to get the, the power higher and the weight lower. <laughs> it's simple. <laughs> weight, <laughs> yeah. weight down, power up. <laughs> Sorry? I could probably still lose a kilo, kilo and a half at least, uh, before the tour. Yeah, I'll leave the sprinting to to other guys. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Richie's also had a little bit of a difficult period. Um, he was sick through Terreno Adriatico and and kept kept pushing, kept pushing. Um, I think he's definitely got also a lot of work to do, um, but his his motivation is high, his spirits are high, and he'll he'll be joining us again up in Tenerife. Um, which, which I hope will will bring him up. Um, but I mean, on another note, the, my other teammates, uh, my teammates who are with me this this week in Romandy, it's really encouraging signs to see how strong they were going in the climbs. And um, I don't think there was any moment in the race I was isolated or anything. So um, a big thank you to my teammates. And um, yeah, I, I'm really happy with with the signs. My problem with my lower back is something I'm still working on. Um, I'm doing exercises every day for this um, to make sure it's it's not a problem uh, later on also. Um, but I, I feel like I'm in a really good place. Um, it's It's been difficult. Uh, there are always challenges, new challenges, pressure. Um, but uh, I, I can feel confident, especially coming away from this Tour de Romandie now, that I'm in, in a good condition and, and where I need to be. I understand that there are still two months before the Tour. And Vincenzo and all my all my rivals, I'm sure, will be working really hard in this period. Um, so I, I can expect a, 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 a top fight again, a really big battle for for the tour. L'étape aujourd'hui c'était ouais, vraiment dur avec du vent en face um, uh, avant la partie. Um, mais oui, au, au fin, j'ai senti <laughs> uh, mieux. Bon. Um, avec le monté, c'était plus une course pour moi, je, je crois, que Tony Martin. Um, mais oui, au fin des jours, je suis très heureux avec, euh, avec la victoire.
tu savais en rentrant dans le stade que ça se jouait à une seconde Tu avais des informations qui te disaient c'est très court, très court ou bien non Oui, avec, euh, avec un kilomètre euh, d'arrivée, euh, Sevars Knaven me dit que ok, vous avez une minute et un kilomètre, il faut aller à bloc, euh, il faut euh, faire le maximum et, et j'étais déjà euh, mort. Avec j'ai found for um, Actually, as, as far as I can remember, the last few seasons that around the springtime um, that I have had similar kind of issues. Um, it was this time while I was up in Tenerife um, during during our camp up there that I started to develop this. Uh, we actually had one day of training in, in really bad weather and I think two days afterwards I started coughing. It might have been the catalyst for, for this. Um, but looking back at previous seasons, I, I think um, I confirmed with the medical team that uh, it was actually ab about the 5th of May that I, I started coughing last year, so more or less the same kind of time. <laughs> I don't know if it's got something to do with uh, spending most of uh, the winters in, in Africa. It just seems that always this period I seem to get some kind of chest infection. <laughs> <laughs>